again i'm ben that's my dog kitty that there is my rv so as you can see the lift kit is done this is going to be part two let's go over what was done but let me do a walk around first So let's talk about what was done on the front. First off, uh, we have custom spec coil springs. These are from Skyjacker. Uh, they are taller than stock. Uh, these are modified factory H-beams. And the reason for that is they put a, a little bit more of a bend in here to adjust for caster after the lift kit goes up. So you're reusing uh, the stock Ford I-beams, they're just modifying them for better alignment. They do go ahead and put in new bushings uh, in the I-beams when reinstalling them, so it's practically all new uh, in that regards. There are Fox shocks up front, which may be hard to see from this angle. There's also a Fox steering stabilizer installed. And then, of course, once the front's done, or actually the whole rig is done on the lift kit, there's uh, fresh front end alignment done on that as well. It may be a little bit harder to see. Let me see if I can move in over here a little bit. So there's also a custom radius arm. Now these radius arms are longer than stock. Uh, the idea is you get uh, additional camber out of that, right? Better handling while going down the road. So let's go talk about the rear. They did some custom leaf spring specced out for the weight of this rig. Remember, if you uh, saw part one, I did have to get this rig weighed uh, and the, the springs were specced for that amount of weight. Uh, this also has a full wall slide on one side. So this side, the side that we're under right now is a driver's side. This side's heavier than the other side. And they wound up putting two additional leaf springs on this side alone compared to the other side to adjust for the weight. So now the rig doesn't lean to the driver's side because of that full wall slide adding the extra weight. Um, it's also hard to see, but there used to be a more ride set up uh, in the back here. Um, and as you can see, they have basically taken all of the more ride set up out. I don't have a rubber shackle. They put on a factory Ford uh, spring hanger uh, so now I don't ever have to worry about changing that out down the road. There's also Fox shocks on the rear. Uh, and something I forgot to mention, they added spacers so that I could reuse my existing sway bars and they spaced out uh, the drive shaft. There is a, a U-joint section in the middle. So that is all nicely aligned. So I won't be wearing out or prematurely wearing out um, U-joints. One other thing to point out, these tires. So I went with larger all-terrain tires. Uh, these are from Sumo, uh, Sumitomo, sorry. Um, and next let's go outside and talk about uh, my experience. So I've driven this rig a thousand miles now after having the lift kit. So it's not like I just picked it up two minutes ago. Um, we have driven it across three states uh, and I can give you my pros and cons on what I think uh, of driving this thing for that amount of time now. So first off, zero clearance issues. Whether you're dealing with speed bumps, inclines, driveways, dips, whatever, nothing is gonna bottom out. I am not worried about dragging uh, a jack pad anymore on anything. There's a much more controlled feel while going down the road. Less sway, less body roll, less affected by wind blasts, whether it's just high windy conditions or big rigs passing you by uh, in, the, in the opposite direction 
whatever it may be, it is much more firmly planted on the ground. Uh, some people talk about, well, you know, it's going to make it top heavy because it's higher. Well, actually, think about where the weight is in this rig before you ever lift it, right? The engine, the transmission, the fuel tank, the water tank, all of those are down low. They're down on the frame or very near the frame. What's up top? Well, your air conditioner, some skylights. So the weight is more centered in the rig. The problem with the perception you're going to be top heavy is the fact that the suspension is sloppy, it's loose, it's slushy. So literally, if you go over a speed bump diagonally, the whole thing just rolls all over the place. This, not anymore. It is, there is no roll in it. Um, it is definitely smoother going over rough terrain. Think of things like railroad tracks or washboard roads or potholes. Way smoother. Uh, and then the the cons this is not this is not a budget upgrade this is not inexpensive this is not easy on the wallet uh i look at this as an investment i'm not dealing with worrying about repairs for ripping off a jack pad or bottoming out somewhere else uh going down the road uh, my wife now needs a step to get in the the door on the side or even on the the front cab doors right they're higher up off the ground uh so we've we're looking into how to address that, but it is a con. Uh, I had to buy more leveling jacks. Now that the whole thing's raised up, my leveling jacks won't reach the ground literally at all. And if they do, I'd be very concerned about, you know, bending one or, or damaging one. So I've bought more leveling blocks in order to level it. Uh, and then lastly, increased attention on clearance. And I mean clearance up high. This is a taller rig. So are we going to clear that overhang pulling into that gas station? Are we going to clear that bridge? I believe I'm roughly 12 point, 12 and a half or 12.7 uh, on the overall height of the rig. So that's a concern now. We were at 12 feet before. But those are my pros and cons. After driving a thousand miles, I, the pros outweigh the cons. I, I wish I would have done this sooner. Um, I am completely happy with uh, the service uh, that Welltech did on getting this installed. I, I, I can't even tell you. It's an 11 out of 10 driving it now compared to driving it before. In fact, now my wife's driving it way more than I have. Out of those thousand miles, she probably drove seven, eight hundred of it. I, I was lucky to get a few hundred in, but it was great being able to feel it from the driver's perspective as well as the passenger's perspective. So hope you learned something out of it. If you've got any questions about uh, this lift kit that I did not cover, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'd be glad to answer your questions, especially if it's something I didn't cover. Yeah.